Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. And here's welcoming you to my favorite corner in the house. My most prized possession undoubtedly, my library. So I think each one of the books I own have a story to tell. They were mostly bought during travels, they were mostly bought at airports, and I think every book is symbolic of what I was going through in my mind, what I wanted to learn about. So now owning books is one thing, reading it is another. Did I actually read it? Do I have something to share with you from what I've learned? We'll find out soon. to my library you must have noticed I have quite a bit of motivational books uh, that's my thing I typically go and pick up a non-fiction book mostly in the self-help or the motivational sphere this has been my um, the kind of books that I have always been buying since I was a kid by kid I mean maybe 14 in the ninth standard my first book being uh, creative visualization by Shakti Gwe that was the first book in this sphere that I bought and read and I have been hooked on since so although each book I have deserves a separate episode of its own and uh, I could go on and on about each of the books I've read, some of them need revision. I will admit that uh, there are some that I have read very, very long back. I remember the crux of it, but if I had to explain it again, I would definitely have to revise. For now, I have picked up uh, a few books where I would be sharing one thing from the book, which was my takeaway. So I think it's very important when you pick up a book because बहुत लोग होते हैं जो कहते हैं मुझे reading बिल्कुल पसंद नहीं है reading से मुझे नींद आती है it's so boring to read you know it's not entertaining um, all I would say is take it up one bite at a time one small piece at a time uh, try and take away one thing from that book that you can apply to your life the same day and you'll realize how much they can contribute to the person you are in ways you cannot even imagine so starting with uh, the book I bought, uh, I think it's been two years, it's called Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. This is by Dr. Joe Disposa. I have been watching a lot of his videos on YouTube and the title itself is self-explanatory, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. How to lose your mind and create a new one. So uh, typically if I say, oh, I'm losing my mind, okay, I've lost my mind. Normally it's not a pleasant thing, but here he has told you how it could be the best thing that's happening to you because that's how we get a chance to create a new version of us. So who we are is not fixed in stone, it's not fixed in concrete and uh, I think we are all creative, we are all creators whether you're in the movies or the arts or music doesn't matter, dance doesn't matter what kind of, even if it's a regular desk job you're doing, you are still creating your life, you're still creating it moment to moment and uh, this book has like information I mean that's worth its weight in gold about how to create a new person so my takeaway if one thing I have to share with you it is uh, about the emotional states and how the emotional state you are in is deciding whether you are a creator or a survivor simple as that so if you are stressed if you are scared if you are anxious which most of us are most of the time you are very frustrated in the traffic jam uh, rest assured you are creating and you are in the survival mode so you can only create more situations that put you in the survival mode. At the same time, if you're in the creator mode, you're the, having these beautiful emotions of love, of gratitude, of expansion, of awakening, of wanting to help others, of feeling good about others. In this state, I think your body is in thriving state and you can create the best possible version of yourself and the best possible version of your life. Of course, there's meditation. You do this through repetition. You do it every day. But who you are can change. It can change very fast. It can change very drastic. And uh, that was my main takeaway from this book. So now we will go on to the next book. This is a classic. It's called You Can Heal Your Life. So this is a wonderful, wonderful woman. I think she's a superhuman in her own right. And uh, she has been speaking about these alternate sciences several decades ago. So I think this was at a time when something like law of attraction wasn't even a term. Nobody knew about it. We didn't have the internet. We didn't have Google. And uh, that is when this lady has come into the sphere and kind of talked about healing with emotions. So this book is brilliant because it talks about curing yourself of conditions without any medicine. It is by going to the root cause of an emotion. So you're having a pimple. There is some emotional imbalance in your body. 
you are having um, a headache there is emotional issues in your body you are having anger resentment hatred uh, not feeling enough feeling unsafe it is going to have a physical effect in the form of a sickness and it can be cured if you go down to the root of the emotion that caused the sickness so this entire book i mean she's given how to go about it uh, the, from a to z every possible uh, illness you can think of with a corresponding affirmation and a corresponding uh, emotion that caused it in the first place so i think it's quite revolutionary in that sense and you must give this a try so please by all means uh, if you need to take your medicines or supplements go ahead and do that but give this book a read for sure this is uh, something that pushes you to start thinking in a different direction and take charge of your emotional health which this which pretty much dictates your physical health so this being one the next uh, this has been a revolutionary book it's called the big leap and uh, gay hendrix uh, this is uh, his first book that i have read so this uh, i th i think i picked up um, at the airport and i didn't know what much to expect from it except for that i saw this picture i was like okay this is a fish going from a small bowl to a big bowl and it's taking a big leap so what so i think the most um, my take away from this book is there is a mechanism in the human mind that is called the self sabotage mechanism uh, i don't know if you understand it or not but kai aksar baar hua hoga ki you know you going you have everything going right for you and uh, something in our system cannot tolerate everything being perfect it will try and do something to mess it up unnecessarily so i think this has been the case with lot of high achievers uh, in the world we read about them in the papers and uh, you feel like oh, this person had a 10 on 10 in every area of their life and they do some very very stupid or very silly thing which kind of brought them down from there very fast and of course they have uh, reconstructed their lives come back again but every human being has this that jo uh, hindi mein there's a phrase we use khud ke pair pe kuladi marna so it's not just come like that it is a tendency in all humans because our tolerance for a perfect life is very low we you know when everything is going great sometimes we question how is everything going so great something must be wrong something must be wrong so this book teaches you about how to address that that there is a self sabotage mechanism and that you can defeat it and that perfection in life is completely normal that you can have every area in your life uh, being a 10 on 10 so this was a revolutionary book for me in that sense so the next book which is my uh, final book for today's episode but uh, will definitely be doing each book i think separately so this is from my um, i wouldn't say favorite but yeah one of the earliest authors i started following mike dooley and this is called leveraging the universe so mike dooley was in the uh, super hit super famous uh, movie called the secret i think which was the beginning of this whole uh, law of attraction manifestation movement which has started uh, i forget i think it was more than 10 years back so i had seen him in that film i have been following him ever since and what i liked was that his um, you know gyan was always very fun he always talk about making it playful about visualizing the end product about uh, having fun with the smaller details about inducing the emotion first and doing this for just 5 minutes a day he didn't say you do it for the whole day you just do it for around 5 minutes and then you take baby steps in the direction that you know best and before you know it you have created a life that you were kind of not even dreaming about because it turns out in beautiful ways when you don't get hung up on what he calls the cursed house because we all want to know how will it happen and if i can't see the how it doesn't exist but most of creation has come without the seeker ever knowing how it would happen we first put the end destination and then we get the instructions about whether to go left right take a u turn doesn't matter we first need to decide where we want to go so that was the crux for me from this book and uh, of course it's not like um, i'm perfect with all this knowledge and i apply it every single day i think as a human i sometimes forget you sometimes get caught up in your own mess and uh, these books are a great way to just come back on track so i think um, ever i feel like um, i'm stuck somewhere or i'm not moving forward or you know something is missing i just go pick up any one of these books and sure enough i get my answer before i know it i'm back on track and it almost feels stupid that why were you kind of you know doubting yourself in the first place so yeah these are the books that uh, i could think of to share with you for today but uh, trust me many many more to come and uh, i'm really looking forward to this can't wait to share more with you